I am the academic director, and that means I have to provide the academic direction. But I can only provide direction if people want to follow. I'm useless without people who will follow, who will want to learn, who will trust in the process. First and foremost, the academic ethos has changed to focus on one central theme that the most important person in the classroom is a student. And that holds true today. And to you as students, and to this academic team, you are the most important people in this room because you hold the future. The future is yours. The second change that has driven forward this institution over the last three uh, years has been how we view success. Some people view success as achieving the highest marks possible. I talk 90 and 100 percent marks and distinctions and to be, to be quite honest, I despair. Because that's not what success is. Success is about achieving your potential. Your potential. And at Regents International College, we will celebrate you achieving your potential, whether that be a pass, a merit, or a distinction. It is equal because you have all made the same journey. And that journey is achieving your potential. However, that's not today. We don't, we don't um, celebrate people who have overachieved. Last night I had a very proud moment when on Facebook I was tagged into a post. Um, and it did bring a, a, a tear to my eye with the fact that this student came to us three years ago and she struggled. We fought and we argued and we debated about the way forward. She didn't have it to begin with and then she started to fold a little bit and we moved forward. And then in the end she graduated from us with a distinction. HND with a distinction. She then went on to Birmingham University and then last night we received the news that she, re that she has been awarded a first class honours degree from the University of Birmingham and I think that's fantastic. And, what, and again, one of the other foundations that we have at this college is that the lecturers initially walk alongside our students, hand in hand, together, as mentors, as coaches, as friends, we walk together. Sometimes it's difficult and we have to stand behind and give somebody a little bit of a push. Sometimes we have to get hold of somebody's hand and drag them forward. But at the end of the day, as we've heard, if we can get a student to meet the potential, it is all worth it. My friends, it's what you, some of you will be embarking upon. Some of you will be leaving us today and going to the UK, to institutions, to towns, to cities you do not know. Well, that is the whole essence of having the strength within you to do that. And we at Regents International College pride ourselves on the fact that somewhere along the line we've given you that strength and provided a little bit. We've built a team of dedicated lecturers who view teaching as a vocation. It is a passion. It's what we're here to do. It's not just a nine to five job. We might walk out the office at five or six o'clock at night, but we're still thinking about our students at nine, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. But you only need to ask my wife because that's all I talk about. Students and work, work and students. What went right, what went wrong, how can we put it right, how can we do it again? But ultimately, the outcome belongs to the students. Because we do, we work for you. 
We give students the soil to plant their dreams and help them to learn by watering it. Because that's what we are as lecturers. In conclusion, my belief is that these young people are the key to a glowing future for us all. But we can only do this by instilling the belief that education is a journey of reaching one's potential. And this brings hope for a brighter future. And with this in mind, it's up to you, 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 and you to give these people hope. Thank you.